Welcome to Buy It on Birch Street, the weekly show where we highlight the best of procure to pay on demand in innovation, automation, and solutions to help save you and your customers valuable money and time. Birch Street Systems provides global enterprises with multiple locations a complete procure to pay business solution deploying cloud technology. I'm your host, Gareth Fraser. Our special guest today is Senior Vice President of Solutions Consulting at Birch Street Systems, Kim Huff. Welcome to the show, Kim. Thank you, Gareth. Happy to be here. It's great to have you here. And maybe we could kick off by you sharing with us some high points of your career and what brought you to Birch Street Systems. Sure. So uh, I started out in technology uh, right out of college, and my focus was primarily healthcare uh, at the time, uh, but with an IT emphasis. Then I moved into gaming, uh, and just prior to coming to Birch Street, I was with Boyd Gaming and then moved back to California. Uh, Boyd is in Las Vegas. So coming back to California, I started with uh, Birch Street 14 and a half years ago, and at the time uh, I was in project management, so started out as a project manager here. So That's how I got to Birch Street. Well, that's great. And at Birch Street, uh, you have filled many, many different roles, kind of being uh, the pioneer of a whole variety of different solutions and departments. Can you just walk us through uh, A to Z of, of that experience? Yeah, absolutely. So starting out as a project manager was great. There were, I think, maybe 10 employees at the time, and everybody wore multiple hats. And we had one support person who logged tickets in a spreadsheet, and our average call volume around the world was 40 tickets a month. So um, (laughs) it was pretty great. Not today. Uh, So, yeah, not unlike today, very much unlike today. So uh, my boss moved on right as we were deploying the Hyatt waves of deployments. Uh, And so I ended up moving out of project management because our support person also left. Mm -hmm. So uh, they saw a need. So I did two things. I helped train the Hyatt waves and I started handling the support desk. I have a background in support as well. So doing those two things, the training and support really touched into my technical background. And and that is where I was able to really take that support team. And I was able to put in the first um, ticket tracking system and globalize the support teams. We had uh, Hilton saying, hey, can we send in tickets so that everybody sees it, not just one team or the other? So we did that and that was great. And that worked very well. We brought on the first international support agents to cover the US hours. That was also an adventure in the very beginning. I'm sure it was so hard for them to stay awake because that was not something we'd done, (laughs) done to date. And so the training was all remote at that time. We were training 25 waves of properties at a time. And that was every month. And so once I had wrapped that up, then Omni came along and they said, we want training on site. And I had never done on site training before. So Omni started me on a course of going into their corporate office and practicing these sessions in person with them. So that launched me on a whirlwind tour over the next couple of years doing their on site training. So that was very successful. So I was able to hire more trainers and build a training team. And so as I built the support team, built the training teams up, those started to grow uh, globally. So that was great. And I was pretty successful managing doing the work and then leading the teams. But you know, that gets harder over time. (laughs) So Moving over into more of the management side and focusing on that, I was really able to beef out those two teams. I think even at one point, we we didn't have supplier adoption. At, at one point, that rolled in under the support and training too, managed those, made some process efficiencies uh, in that. I was able to do some more analytical work. It's very common. The support team, probably a third of the calls was password resets. And another good chunk of that was when suppliers or anyone would upload content, they might have failures and we would call them to tell them what those were and work through it with them. So I automated the password reset process and I initiated a project to automate the notifications out to users when uploads failed. So that exponentially cut down on the work our support teams needed to do. So I had a heart for process efficiencies and improvement, leading those teams. So since I was really good at taking nothing and making something, at that point... It was a need for project management. I went back to that and led the project management team for about a year to two years at a point where our project management teams were globalizing. 
So I visited the India office a few times. We created a global project management tracker, worked on coordinating and assigning project managers to projects as needed, and started to make some improvements in that project management process. Moving forward after that, it was, hey, we have some product gaps. So <laughs> you're good at doing process improvements. Can you start a new team called product management? So off I went and formed our first product management team. And that was really fun. We, we launched some really cool uh, new products and, and saw some adventures in that world. And we started our first release notes, got those out to clients, uh, did some fun trainings internally for all the employees to see what the new products were that we were working on and new features. So that went well. And then as with all things, there was a new need. <laughs> clients needed to be successful, right? So moving on, I formed uh, customer success. And same thing, uh, formed a team, brought on people to help. We were able to do our first NPS surveys and distribute those out to see what clients needed us to improve upon. We were able to manage our churn. We actually reduced our churn year one as part of that and into year two. So that was a great experience to be able to look back and say we prevented client loss. Mm -hmm. So all of those things were really awesome. We did our first formal business reviews and business review cadences with our clients. We released some really cool stats and dashboards for them to see how they could be better using the system, better doing their processes. So this is a, a long arc to say, one of the things that I did from day one up until now was sales demos. <laughs> so I always had a knack for the process and the product. And the sales team had always tried to pull me into the sales group. And I had always said, no, <laughs> it wasn't for me. <laughs> I wasn't a salesperson. Typical response. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. anyway. So I think it was a year and a half ago and I was approached again. They the wore you person. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, same thing. No, and But, you know, after some discussion, I thought, all right, well, you know what? I might be good at it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, there was a need to take everything I had been doing from product to consulting with the customer success team, project management, and pull that forward into the sales team so that when we do our sales engagement, it's not just demos, it's not just RFPs, but it also gives the prospects guidance on what they can do to improve their businesses. It really gives them consulting as part of that experience. So enter solutions consulting. And I finally said yes. And I will say it's the best thing I've done. I All the other teams were fabulous. But working for Paul is, is wonderful. And the team is right. wonderful. I did not know uh, what I was missing out on. So I, I eat my words. And here I am happy on the sales team and loving solutions consulting. Well, for sure, Kim. And, and for our listeners benefit, uh, Kim Huff is actually the person who hired me and who interviewed me. And it, for any of you out there who have considered working at Bird Street Systems, it was the best experience I have ever had. And I have worked in you know, Asia and throughout Europe and also quite a bit here in the United States, but very much an enjoyable experience. What really hit me, Kim, was your specific personal involvement and longevity at Bird Street, but your commitment to leadership development. Because for the listener's benefit, every time Kim moved on, there had to be an adequate resource to take over. And I've certainly personally experienced this. And I really appreciate that, Kim, that you focus on the benefits of others, the best for others. And that translates, as I've seen many times on demonstrations that you've done, into solutions consulting and into that customer relationship. And could you go ahead and tell us you know, what exactly is solutions consulting? Yeah, thank you, Gareth. Uh, absolutely. So solutions consulting, uh, we, we do some basic things, right? We do sales demos, we handle the RFPs, and those are pretty common. Really, what solutions consulting is, is designed for net new client prospects. We haven't worked with them yet. They don't know us. We want to go out and we want to put our best foot forward. So it isn't just a demo. It isn't just an RFP. Every demo we, we give, we bake in best practices. We bake in what our other clients are doing to be successful that's helping. We give recommendations. Our RFP responses are not just here's what it does or yes or no. It's we make recommendations for best practice in those as well. So everything we do has a consulting lens on it. Another aspect of what we do is when we do demos or RFPs for clients, we try to bake in workshops so that we'll go on site with clients of COVID you know, aside with, mm -hmm. when things are, are loosened up. And we, we do go out and do those workshops where we give them the full 360 of what their experience will be like both 
pre-Bird Street, during Bird Street's implementation, and then post-implementation. Our goal is to earn a partner that we'll work with indefinitely, not just sell them and then turn around and, and walk away and, and hope they stick. So our right. role is to build that relationship and a successful future with our clients. That's fantastic. And uh, all the best with the continuance of Solutions Consulting. And we know it's just been a, a rock star success. And so many of the customers appreciate that. At this time, it's still a free service, correct? Solutions yes. Consulting is such a benefit to them on the Absolutely. front end, most particularly. You've traveled all over the place and you mentioned Dubai earlier. Is there anything that stands out, Kim? Yeah, I mean, actually, ironically, that that Dubai trip, we actually went to Ras Al Khaimah. And it was with Hilton. And it was the first time we'd ever deployed our inventory module in a cluster uh, environment. And by cluster, I mean they had five properties in Ras Al Khaimah that all worked together and they shared an inventory. And so we had customized our module to be able to provide that functionality. And we spent two weeks on site. And uh, that was an adventure I'll never forget. And we spent nights until 4 a.m., 5 a.m. working to clean up some of the data that had gotten in wrong. It was not our fault, uh, no faults blamed. It just, that that happens, right? But, yeah. um, you know, you train, you start training at eight and nine in the morning, you got a few hours sleep, <laughs> you do that day in and day out. At the end of the day, we got our e-procurement and our inventory and AP, and they were able to uh, go live with the solution. And ultimately, it was a great success for that region and for Hilton. And in that, we got to go into uh, Dubai and see some things in Dubai, Atlantis being one of them. So Awesome. Now, you've been at Bird Street 15 years. There's not too many others on our team who have been at Bird Street that long. So you've, you've seen the baby born grow up and develop into the adult that it is today and the dominance we have in procure to pay in the hospitality vertical and our popularity. Can I ask you, Kim, for our last question, why do you love working at Birch Street Systems? Wow, that's a great question. Uh, right, I, I love it. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, and part of that is great people like you. And I remember when I first interviewed you as well, that was one of the great things is your passion and your heart for what you believe in and what your experience is and what you want for your future and, and how you value clients. And so all of the people that are here and who have been here for, for some time have that same passion and drive. So I love working with people who care about clients, who care about each other, and we're all gunning the same direction. We want our clients to be successful. So that that's one of the reasons I love working for Birch Street is I know if I'm up in the middle of the night working on something, I've probably got a cohort of compatriots out there who are doing the same thing, and I can reach out to any one of them for help when I need it. So that's, that's one. Yeah. Uh huh. There's probably many, Kim. You could talk for hours. I would <laughs> yes. think. Yes. Yes, you, you could. There's people all around the world on the team that are that are there and online mm -hmm. at any given time. So I I love that, and I I feel like I'm not alone there. And the other thing is I love my clients, and that's something that we've built years of relationship. We, we've we know the same people day one that we've worked with, and we still work with them. And and we know we've watched their families grow up, right? And we we've watched that their life cycle and, and where they're at now versus where they were. And it's so great to be a part of that. And they're not just clients at this point right they're their work family so that, that's right. that's the, yeah it's the second one and then the third is is really the product so product and services and i say that because when bird street first started it was an e-procurement software with a few buttons <laughs> mm -hmm. and it didn't have a lot of complexity people always say bird street is so complex it wasn't and we built the product out based on client need and 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 desire to make it be what it is today. And we've done so much since then. I feel like I'm part of a new company all the time because I constantly have new product to learn or we're constantly coming up with a service or an offering that I need to learn about. So I don't necessarily feel like I need to go somewhere to get new technology and, and new uh, input and new learning. I can get it right here where I am. And we're also constantly trying to improve the business and how we do our business to make a better experience for our clients and our employees. So I enjoy seeing our company do its turns to try to improve how we do our business. So these things keep me motivated to keep going and, and uh, I, I love it. Great love answer, it. Kim. Great yep. answer. And we, we just would love to have you back on the show. Thank you so much for taking the time out today. Great. Thank you, Gareth. And thanks for having me today. 
You've been listening to Senior Vice President of Solutions Consulting at Boat Street Systems, Kim Huff. That's all the time we have. We'll see you next time right here on Buy It on Boat Street.